Welcome. Today we shall be looking at glucose tolerance testing. A glucose tolerance testing is a test that assesses the body's ability to metabolize glucose. This test is used to monitor the blood sugar levels and is performed when there is a suspicion of type 2 diabetes mellitus. It basically indicates how well the sugar from the diet can be absorbed into the body cells. It is used in the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus, impaired glucose tolerance, and insulin resistance syndromes. Some of the indications for glucose tolerance testing are a suspected type 2 diabetes mellitus, gestational diabetes screening at 24 to 28 weeks, evaluation of hypoglycemia or a reactive hypoglycemia, and screening in obesity, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and a family history of diabetes. There are two types of glucose tolerance testing, an oral glucose tolerance test and an intravenous glucose tolerance test. An oral glucose tolerance test is the most common type, while an intravenous glucose tolerance testing is used if a gastrointestinal absorption of glucose is impaired. When performing an oral glucose tolerance testing, this test is conducted in the morning while the patient is sitting or lying down. There's no any food or alcohol smoking that is allowed between 8 to 12 hours. Therefore, we advise the patients to fast overnight for 8 to 14 hours. And a carbohydrate-rich diet should be followed for at least 3 days before the test day, where a patient takes at least 150 grams of carbohydrates per day. And a fasting plasma glucose is drawn at time point zero. And then we prepare a glucose solution with 75 grams of glucose, which is then consumed within five minutes. And blood is drawn at the time points of zero and two hours during the two hour measurement period to determine the blood sugar levels. To interpret the results for oral glucose tolerance testing in non-pregnant adults, a normal glucose tolerance is defined by a fasting blood sugar level value at time point zero that is below 100 mg per deciliter that is approximately 5.6 millimoles per liter and an oral glucose tolerance testing to our blood sugar value that is below 140 mg per deciliter. Individuals who have blood sugar levels above the normal glucose tolerance but below the diabetes diagnosis have an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus and this transitional range is known as a pre-diabetes and it includes impaired fasting glucose where fasting blood sugar levels are greater than or equal to 100 mg per deciliter and less than 126 mg per deciliter. For us to diagnose a patient with an impaired glucose tolerance, they need to have an oral glucose tolerance to have a blood sugar that is greater than or equal to 140 mg per deciliter and less than 200 mg per deciliter. If these findings are more than 200 mg per deciliter, then we can diagnose these patients with diabetes mellitus. A diagnosis of gestational diabetes is made if two of the following conditions are met. A fasting blood glucose levels of more than or equal to 95 mg per deciliter. At one hour, if we have a reading of greater than or equal to 180 mg per deciliter. And at two hours, if we have a reading that is greater than or equal to 155 mg per deciliter. Or if at three hours we have a greater than or equal to 140 mg per deciliter. The clinical significance of this glucose tolerance testing is to diagnose diabetes mellitus, detect an early insulin resistance, and help in diagnosis and management of gestational diabetes to reduce the cases of macrosomia, neonatal hypoglycemia, and preeclampsia which are usually some of the complications in gestational diabetes.
Some of the factors that can affect the oligoglucose tolerance testing include medications such as corticosteroids, thyroid diuretics and beta blockers, the presence of an acute illness or a stressor, prolonged fasting or a low carbohydrate diet, and sometimes malabsorption syndrome. Some nursing considerations when carrying out this test include an instruction of the normal diet where we tell the patients not to take any alcohol, to avoid smoking, any caffeine use and fasting before the procedure and as well explaining the procedure to this patient and the timing or timelines that we require them to note. During the test, we monitor for hypoglycemia and nausea and as well, we ensure these patients rest and have no any food or drink. And after the test, we resume the diet and document as well as report the findings. Some of the high yield notes or important knowledge for you to know is that an oral glucose tolerance testing is more sensitive than fasting blood glucose or an HbA1c for early detection of diabetes mellitus. This oral glucose tolerance testing is not really a routine test for type 1 diabetes mellitus diagnosis and diabetes mellitus is confirmed by an HbA1c of greater than or equal to 6.5%, fasting blood glucose of greater than or equal to 126 milligrams per deciliter or a two-hour glucose tolerance testing greater than or equal to 200 milligrams per deciliter. 